Hello everyone. In a recent interview with GQ magazine, Hans Zimmer spoke about working on the Dune score and what he said could reveal some big secrets about the Dune soundtrack. In this video we will take a look at what was said and what it could mean for the Dune score and the movie overall. In the GQ magazine interview, Hans Zimmer is asked if he was an original fan of the Dune novel. Of course we now know that he was. But he was also asked if being an original fan of the Dune novel was a big motivation for him to work on the new adaptation of Dune. So he says he truly was a fan of Dune as a teenager and that he and Denis Villeneuve started to have discussions about Dune and he says that Denis Villeneuve wanted to keep as true to the novel as possible. And that the more they were discussing and the more that they were talking about Dune, the more that Hans Zimmer was drawn in to the idea of working on this project. And he said that suddenly a sound and a score started to form during those conversations. So whatever they discussed about Dune created the framework for this Dune soundtrack. If I were to take a guess at what those conversations were, I would imagine it being about the underlaying themes of Dune rather than the obvious. So a scene with a sandworm could have this huge score accompanying it or it could have the underlaying themes of what that beast means, what it represents, its silent power and governance of the universe through spice and things of that nature. I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall to hear those conversations. But I'm sure when the score is released they will go into much more detail about how they formed the score. But these conversations that Hans Zimmer had with Denis Villeneuve occurred during the production of Blade Runner 20 2049. So the score for Dune began forming very early on. Hans Zimmer also mentions that he didn't see the David Lynch film and if he had seen it by now he would have mentioned that he had seen it later on but he hasn't mentioned this so I believe he hasn't seen the film or heard the David Lynch's Dune score by Toto with music by Brian Eno. And something very interesting that I've wanted to know about the pushbacks and the delays with the film is how the movie or the score has changed over this period of time of delays and pushbacks. Has the editing improved? Has the CGI improved? Have they made tweaks and changes? Have they changed the Dune score? And Hans Zimmer addresses a question about this. He's asked now that Dune has been postponed, has he been allowed to go back and tweak that score or has he moved on entirely? And he initially says that he has moved on entirely, but this is where it gets a little tricky for Dune. And this is where alarm bells start ringing. Could this be an issue for Dune? So Hans Zimmer says, I've moved on entirely now, or am I in the middle of Dune? I'm not entirely sure. But what does he mean by that? And this is just a reminder that if you like these videos, I would really appreciate a like, share and subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can support me on my Patreon and you can become a channel member by clicking on the join button. Now that that is out of the way, let's get back to the Dune news. So Hans Zimmer says that it's been really complicated working on Denis Villeneuve's Dune film. He hasn't actually met Denis Villeneuve while working on Dune in person. So it's been very hard for him to understand everything Denis Villeneuve is trying to articulate about Dune. And it's all about communicating with people. Now we have to learn to communicate with people without being face to face. And that's something Hans Zimmer seems to be struggling with. So he says that Denis has been stuck in Montreal because of Covid reasons and he hasn't seen him yet. But the film is finished, the movie is done, the score is finished. So it seems Seems like there's no point even meeting him and if things are going the way that they are there might not even be a Dune premiere so they won't be meeting anytime soon. The only way that Hans Zimmer has been able to communicate with Denis Villeneuve about the Dune score is through video calls and he reiterates that the conversations have been incredibly difficult and that's not something that we want to hear with an IP that has had a lot of trouble in the past. The situation is already not ideal for Dune with the pandemic, with the pushbacks, he goes on to say that his musicians are in Vienna and in Los Angeles and in London. They're all spread apart so it's, it's difficult for them to work as a unit when trying to convey ideas. He says it's very difficult to try to explain to all of them the same thing. He goes on to say that his musicians are in Vienna and London and Australia. So the difficulty comes in when he tries to express an idea over video call and due to video delays and bad connections due to distance. It interrupts the flow of the conversation and sometimes Hans Zimmer doesn't know whether he's conveyed his idea to his musicians correctly or not. But I think this difficulty is going to happen with all filmmakers, all musicians throughout this pandemic. 
back. So everyone is feeling the strain and everyone is suffering from it, especially those in the industry. But all hope is not lost for Dune. He mentions that he has musicians in other countries, and this is where it gets interesting. He says, I have a whole bunch of people in Australia. Now, that could signify something very interesting. Because there is only one person I can think of that is linked to Hans Zimmer that lives in Australia, and that is Lisa Gerard. She's an Australian musician and she lives in Australia. So this leads me to believe even more now that she is linked to the Dune project and that she will be featured on the Dune score. And that is very exciting for me. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that I always mentioned Lisa Gerard and how she worked with Hans Zimmer to produce some very interesting tracks with her ethereal vocals. I think Hans Zimmer slipped up here. I think he wasn't really meant to reveal the location of some of his musicians like he did, but this to me is definitely an indicator that Lisa Gerard is involved with Dune. Because why would he have specific musicians in Australia? It's not really common. Vienna, yes, but Australia is a little too out there. Unless you're working with Lisa Gerard, who is an Australian musician. I really hope I'm right about this because the idea of Lisa Gerard being on this soundtrack is truly something that would give me chills. It's something that would really take this Dune experience to another level for me. I just know the moment her vocals are going to hit, it's going to send shivers down my spine and it's just going to be an interesting experience to have her voice over Dune finally. This is something that I've wanted. No matter who was going to score the soundtrack, I really wanted Lisa Gerard to be on the soundtrack. And when it was announced that Hans Zimmer was going to score the Dune soundtrack, I immediately hoped that Lisa Gerard would be featured in the score. And we also know that Hans Zimmer has completed the Dune score because it was shown over the test screening of the Dune movie. And people noted the distinctive qualities that make a Hans Zimmer soundtrack, including the bois sounds, the light motifs, the matching of the music to the Dune trailer, and things of that nature. So the Dune score is complete. Now as to whether or not Hans Zimmer goes back and makes some additions or changes, we don't know, and neither does he by the looks of things according to this interview. Hans Zimmer spoke often to Joe Walker, the editor of Dune, who he says has a better musical education than Hans Zimmer does. And he asked him about the score because he trusts Joe Walker. And it seems that Joe has done things with the Dune score that will truly be incredible. Hans Zimmer says Joe took a piece of the music that he had composed, which was not meant for a specific scene, but he put it over another scene, specifically the Gom Jabbar scene, and it astonished Hans Zimmer. He was astonished with what Joe did because he hears and sees things in a slightly different way. So Joe Walker has truly done some incredible things in the editing room with the music over the Dune edit. And Hans likes the idea of giving Joe the freedom to experiment with his work over the Dune film. So I think that's going to be an interesting collaboration there. And I'm going to be very interested to see what that scene entails musically. But what do you think of this news? What do you think about Hans Zimmer and his difficulty with the Dune soundtrack. Do you think these mysterious Australian musicians implies Lisa Gerard and her team? Do you think Lisa Gerard is going to be on the Dune soundtrack? Let me know in the comments section below. If you want to read the full interview, you can check it out in the description below. That's all I have for you all. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click the bell so that you can be first to be notified of new videos. Today's art feature is a piece by I am Tabby Chan depicting Timothy Chalamet as Paul Atreides in Denis Villeneuve's Dune. I love the anime style that she has chosen to use, because I've always felt that Dune would make an incredible anime. Thank you to my Patreons and my channel members for your support. If you would like to help this channel grow, you can become a Patreon or channel member where you will receive access to exclusive content, secret content and more. And until next time, see you soon.